Hi, I'm Laura Freeberg, and I'm a master's uh, student in neuroscience here. My study is to do with Facebook and social support. So we're looking at uh, something that's been created through a crisis line and also Facebook uh, in response to people posting statuses on Facebook that are um, d of distress. So what happens is if I were to put a status update on my Facebook that said, um, I've been having the worst month, I'm so upset, and everything's terrible, a friend of mine could look at my status and then tag that status as, um, my friend is having a really hard time. They let Facebook know. And then Facebook, if they see that that friend is telling the truth and it's, it's acceptable, they will send a message to my inbox um, saying, hey, your friend, I don't know which friend, has sent a message saying, um, you're having a hard time. And so here's the crisis line, and uh, hopefully you can be uh, supported that way. In our lab, we wanted to know if this is the most uh, beneficial response that Facebook could have. Or maybe are there other alternatives that might be perceived as more supportive. So if a friend of mine sent me a message saying, hey, here's my number, are you okay, here's the crisis line, is that more supportive or less supportive than what Facebook would do? So we also wanted to know about predictors. Are there things that might predict whether or not this would be perceived as supportive? So things like um, a depression score or a social um, self-esteem or coping strategies, are those things that will be um, affecting whether or not somebody perceives uh, that response that Facebook is making as a supportive response? There's also um, possibly a genetic component. So there's a hormone called oxytocin, and your body has receptors for it. So if it's being released, your body will detect it. And if a person has a working receptor, uh, they might perceive that kind of response from Facebook as more supportive or less supportive. Uh, or if they don't have a working receptor, that might affect it as well. So we wanted to take a genetic sample and see if that is affecting their um, perspective. So when they come to our lab, they have to fill out a series of questionnaires online. So they're over here. And it takes about an hour to fill out the survey, and then they have to give us a genetic sample. So they uh, have to spit in this tube, and then they add this yellow liquid here, and then we analyze it later to see if that gene is related to their perception of social support. So in the end, what we hope to find out is, is this a good response for Facebook or other social media to have uh, to respond to people who are distressed or mentally ill or maybe even suicidal?